Welcome back to Microbiology Lab. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to discuss one of the staining procedures from Experiment 4, and that is the acid fast stain. The acid fast stain is a staining procedure that refers to organisms called acid fast organisms, and it can be used to identify those. So, first of all, what is an acid fast organism? Acid fast organisms are bacteria that have a very wax-like lipid dense cell wall. So here's a schematic of an acid fast organism. Here's their cytoplasmic membrane or plasma membrane and all this stuff out here is outside of the cell in the cell wall. And you can see here there's some carbohydrate components, here's the peptidoglycan, but out here we have a lot of lipids, in particular this lipid called mycolic acid. And this substance in particular, in addition to the phenolic lipids, make the cell wall very lipid-like and hydrophobic. Okay? And so all this combined will make the organism very resistant to a lot of conditions such as disinfectant, dry conditions, and then also resistant to stains such as the gram stain. Okay. Now the gram stain arguably is one of the most important staining procedures because it's really the first step in identifying any species of bacteria. But if you have an acid fast organism, those stains of the gram stain do not penetrate the cell wall because of these lipids right here, such as mycolic acid. And so gram stains, therefore, are ineffective at identifying acid fast organisms. And so because of that, they require this special staining technique called the acid fast stain, and that's what we're going to discuss here. Now, just so you know what we're dealing with, here's an example up here of an acid fast organism. These are bacilli right here, and they belong to the species known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which, as the name suggests, is the causative agent of the disease tuberculosis. In fact, one of the genera, meaning plural of genus, uh, that is acid fast is the mycobacterium, the other one being nocardia, which we'll discuss a little bit more on the next slide. But the point is mycobacteria are going to be one of the major two genera that belong to the acid fast classification. Here's another acid fast organism. You can see again it's a bacillus, or these are bacilli. Uh, this is belonging to the species Mycobacterium leprae, which you might be able to guess uh, causes leprosy. So actually those are two important things to know right off the bat about acid fast organisms. First of all, the two genera that, that comprise the acid fast organisms. Those are Mycobacterium, and then also as I mentioned on the previous slide, Nocardia. Right? And then two major diseases that are caused by acid fast organisms, particularly under the genus Mycobacterium, are tuberculosis and leprosy. Right? Now what about the actual staining procedure? What's the theory of this procedure? Well, at least in uh, steps, it's very similar to the Gram stain. You have a primary stain, you have a decolorization step, and a counter stain, although the stains themselves are different. Now initially, uh, you're going to heat fix a slide, you're going to you know, make a smear, heat fix, and so forth, just like we did with the Gram stain. But you're actually going to add a different primary stain, and that's carbol fusion. Now the specifics of the procedure involve, you know, you, we put the paper towels over the slides and then we add the carbol fusion. But the important thing here when we're adding the carbol fusion, remember we use the Fisher burners and we use heat to drive this stain into the cells. Okay? Now, I mentioned that the Gram stain is ineffective at staining acid fast organisms, and that has to do with these lipid lipids in the cell wall that make it extremely uh, tough and resilient and waxy. But still, in order to get this primary stain, carbol fusion, into the acid fast organisms, you have to actually apply heat. So without the heat, this carbol fusion will not actually get into into the cell or at least penetrate through the cell wall. So you actually have to apply heat from something like a Fischer burner to actually get the carbol fusion to penetrate into here. Okay? And actually that's the critical step of the acid fast stain is the actual heating. You can put all the carbol fusion you want on those cells, on the slides, but if you do not heat them with some heat source such as a Fischer burner, then the carbol fusion will not make its way into the cell and therefore it will not stain red in the end. Okay. Now in this stain, unlike the Gram stain, there's no mordant, so there's no iodine or anything like that, so we proceed straight to decolorization. Right? And when we decolorize, we're going to use an acid alcohol, very similar to what we used in the gram stain. 
And so after this step, after the decolorization, the acid fast organism will still be red, while any non-acid fast organism uh, will have that red, that carbol fusion washed out and will be colorless after this step. This is a similar pattern to what we saw in the gram stain after that decolorization step. Okay? And then finally, we counter stain with methylene blue. And so really both of these cells absorb the methylene blue, but the carbol fusion in the acid fast organism is simply going to outweigh the blue, and so it'll still appear red. And then the non-acid fast organisms will take up that methylene blue, and since before that they were colorless, non-acid fast organisms will appear blue when you look at them under a microscope. Okay, so in a similar way to the grand stain, it's a colorimetric stain. So we're looking at the difference in the two colors to identify what type of organism it is. Except in this stain, we have acid fast organisms that are red and non-acid fast organisms that are blue. Okay, let's take a look at this micrograph. We'll blow it up here on the next slide. So these organisms that are labeled as B right here, these are red or kind of a fuchsia, I guess you could say, thus the name carbol fuchsia. Uh, these organisms are going to be your acid fast organisms, okay? And if you were to actually zoom in on these, you can't see it too well, you would actually see that these are in fact bacilli, which makes sense because pretty much all of these organisms that are acid fast are gonna be bacilli, such as Mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium leprae. And in fact, in the lab, the, sp the species we used was non-pathogenic. That was Mycobacterium smegmatus. That was a bacillus as well, All right? These organisms over here that are blue, these are going to be non-acid fast, and that's because they're blue. They do not retain the carbol fusion after the decolorization step, okay? So now that we've looked through all of this, I want to reiterate four major points about the acid fast stain that are going to be important for you to remember other than the results, which is obvious. And that is, remember that there are two genera that are going to make up the acid fast organisms primarily. And those are going to be Mycobacterium and Nocardia. Also, we have a couple diseases that are caused by acid fast organisms. We have tuberculosis, which is caused by this agent right here and then leprosy, which is caused by this agent. Now, in no way do you need to memorize these specific species, but you do need to know the two diseases that are caused by these organisms. Another thing I want to reiterate is that unlike the gram stain, we don't have a positive result and a negative result, like gram positive or gram negative. We simply refer to this as acid fast if it's red and non-acid fast if it's blue, okay? And then the other thing is to remember the critical step. The critical step is the heating that we must do to drive the carbol fusion or the primary stain into the cell so that in the end, acid fast organisms will stain red. All right, so hopefully this made sense to you. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.